You're watching WMAR 2 News. And a good evening. I'm Jamie Costello with your digital news update. South River High School's varsity football team must forfeit some of its wins. Here's a team that had a deal with ducking that tornado that hit Edgewater. And tonight, Anne Arundel County Schools has thrown the team a penalty after it realized the team allowed ineligible players to take part in games. The team is giving up three wins. And under state law, the team can also face more penalties. Now, the decision means that the Seahawks enter this week's game against Annapolis with a 2-6 and six record. But despite this, South River still qualifies for the playoffs because all 4A schools will make the next round. Well, new tonight 11, if you were over on Joppa Road today, you might have seen a car slam right into a building. It all happened around 4 o'clock. County police say two cars slid down an embankment, but only one went into the building. Investigators are still looking into what exactly happened and say the drivers were treated for minor injuries. A longtime state politician says he's now running for state attorney general. Anthony Brown wants to replace Brian Frosch, who announced his retirement last week. Brown has served in the House of Representatives since 2016, serving parts of Anne Arundel and Prince George's counties. And before that, he was lieutenant governor under Martin O'Malley. He ran for governor in 2014 and lost to Larry Young, uh, Larry Hogan. And we are starting off with a mix of sun and clouds, expecting a lot of the day, though, to remain mostly cloudy with temperatures. They're going to struggle to get into the mid 60s. Winds are going to be a bit breezy as well out of the northwest, gusting upwards of 30 miles per hour at times. Chances for showers in the forecast, especially as we head into the evening tomorrow, but can't rule out lighter showers throughout the start of the day. Temperatures getting to 66 here in the city of Baltimore, 64 in Elkton, 62 in Parkton. So it's going to be an unseasonably cool day for lots of folks. But we're climbing into the upper 60s for your Wednesday as things dry out. But another system brings more clouds and rain chances overnight Thursday into Friday. All right, Patrick, click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.